Abu Dhabi Dude! Hi there, this is Abu Dhabi Dude! Welcome back! And as promised on the last video, today I'm going to go through uh, the infotainment, give you a general overview of it, but also talk about what's new in S19A. No massive changes, but there's a few things I've spotted. Um, and as I say, we'll go through that. Okay, we'll start off uh, just by saying one good thing which I'm quite pleased about is it now seems to remember your ambient lighting settings where before it remembered it a lot of the time but then every few days it seemed to reset to that default pale blue setting. Um, which was not ideal. So every few days I was having to reset it to my you know, the ambient light colour of my choosing. Um, but now, since I've installed 19A, that doesn't seem to have happened even once, so that that's good news, at least. So, fingers crossed that that keeps up, but so far, I think it's been long enough now to be fairly confirmed. Um, there's been a few people online reporting that they're finding that creep mode setting isn't being saved. Um... I have creep mode switched off, so I think uh, that's not a problem I'm going to encounter. I never use creep mode, um, and I think their problem is if they select it to on, it's selected off again by the time they start the car up. So I can't confirm that one because I never ever use it, but, but I'm seeing reports of that at least. Um, so having covered those items, which uh, you can't really, I can't demonstrate with the screen, uh, let's have a look at the screen now and uh, and see what we can what we can demonstrate with that So there's the screen. That's my personal home screen. I've set that up to my Liking although I'm probably gonna tweak those ones on the left But I do like to have the my EV panel there One thing I've noticed is when I boot up uh, The my EV panel here is just empty when I first start the car and I, it, I think it's just part of the boot up sequence that after, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, uh, this populates itself up to then. It just says my EV and then none of this information is showing. Um, I've seen people complain about that online as well. Um, but in my experience, it populates itself after like I say, after about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I've never timed it, but you get the idea. Uh, so that's one thing. Um, it does seem more responsive as well as I slide across. Maybe that's my imagination, maybe it's wishful thinking, but it seems to me that that is much more instantaneous. Um, and less, less laggy. Um, may be wrong, but that's how it seems to me. Uh, what else has changed? Um, really not very much in all honesty. As I say, it is saving the settings for the ambient lighting better. Uh, oh, one thing that has changed, I can't demonstrate it, but when I'm using Apple CarPlay now, the shortcut button on the steering wheel, which I had set for a short press to mute, it only worked if you were listening to something like DAB or something like that, but it didn't mute if you were listening to Apple Music through Apple CarPlay. So now with S19A, a press of the shortcut button does mute Apple CarPlay. So that's that's better, That that's worked. Uh, I say I can't demonstrate that because I've not got my phone plugged in at the moment, but that's one. Um, what else? Really not very much else has changed to be honest. Uh, as I say, the whole infotainment seems a bit more responsive. Uh, let's have a look at my eco data, see if I can embarrass myself there. Uh, yeah, that was not great, 54 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, but I was driving with all the heated things switched on. Not being particularly economical and it was also a very short trip as well so um so i think that's got something to do with it and it is seven degrees outside as well 
Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, like I say, things seem to be happening much quicker when I when I press buttons now. Um, the only one that's still a little slow is when you scroll from my EV page one to page two. Um, there is a bit of a delay, but I think that's more the animation than a delay in it being responsive, if you see what I mean. Um, yeah, d definitely think so. But yeah, so that's that's about it really, the shortcuts. One other thing I've noticed is now, when I've got it in park, um, it used to be if you opened the door, it switched your car off. Now, it doesn't seem to anymore, although the other day after I'd driven somewhere, it did. So I'm wondering if it's got a time limit on it, like to let you pull the car out of your garage, get out, close your garage and get back in or something, I don't know. Um, but I'll try that again in a second once I've finished all of this, so it'll be the last thing I attempt. Uh, but yeah, it certainly when I was just playing around after I'd installed it, putting it in park and opening the door, no longer switched it off. Uh, but like I say, I went to, well, I went to B&Q the other day. It was about a six mile drive. And when I got out of the car, with it still switched on and in park, it did switch the power off. So, uh, jury's out on that one at the moment, but I'm thinking there might be either a distance where it, it cancels out or a time limit where it cancels out and goes back to switching the car off automatically um i actually like it switching off automatically but i can understand why people didn't like that because i've got a, an electric garage door so i don't have to get out the car to shut the garage door um so for me i quite like just getting out and the car switches off but as i say I understand why for other people that's more of a pain. I'd quite like to see a toggle switch somewhere in the settings that will uh, let me choose one method or the other. Um, other than that, uh, as I say, there's nothing very different. If I knock it into reverse, you can see you still get everything unchanged as it was you get the reversing camera and the 360 view which is how i've set it up and the parking sensors then to the left which i think is quite a nice uh, display actually for reversing very helpful very flexible um yeah put it in park that goes away So yeah, uh, as I say, that seems fairly, so that definitely feels much more responsive to me, the speed at which it's, it's responding to swipes and stuff. Um, so yeah, there we go, uh, version 19A and a very quick look through of what the infotainment looks like. Um, as I say, I can't see any major differences, but let's now try opening the door and see what happens. I have just driven six miles, or seven miles, sorry, seven miles, I think it was, home. Uh, so let's see what happens when I open the door. Right, yeah, okay. So yeah, that is now shutting down, which it didn't do previously. Uh, I mean, you know, since I've installed 19A, it hasn't been shutting down, but it's shut down after a drive. So I think it's got something like that. Let's see if I start it up again. I'm not sure if it's going to do it now because it's only just been shut down. If I start it up again, it's in park. Open the door. And yeah, see, it's not closing down now. So, yeah, I think that the issue there is that. I, I think the issue is that it doesn't shut down 
if you open the door just after you've started the car but then after either a certain time limit or a certain number of miles or kilometers traveled it then goes back to shutting down when you open the door that needs a bit more investigation but um but yeah i can understand why they would uh, work it in that way and it does make a certain degree of sense but there will be situations where that will still annoy some people and uh yeah i don't i guess you can't please all the people all of the time unless you put a setting in that that people can choose um so yeah as i say there you go that's an overview of uh software version s19a and a very quick look over the infotainment system and, it, and its general look for anyone who hasn't seen that before um hope you've enjoyed next time i promise i've kind of leapt into more technical stuff on these on my first couple of vlogs but next time i'll do a general overview of the car i think just a a general walk round of my car um i did have a request for that and we'll we'll take it from there and then we'll, we'll go into a few more general videos hopefully i just wanted to get these ones out because s s19a is still fairly new and the software over the air updates are still new so that gives the people an idea of how the process works what the new software contains which isn't much of a, a change it's more small bug fixes and it bug fixes bug fixes and a few minor changes to functionality but really not very much um so i hope you've enjoyed if you have enjoyed feel free to click on the like button and if you subscribe to the channel that's always hugely appreciated and very helpful um and if you want to be notified of when i upload new vlogs new videos click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and then you'll get notifications every time a new video appears on my channel um feel free to leave a comment down below as well i'll try and respond to as many comments as i can and uh until next time, this is Abu Dhabi Dude saying rock on, take care, see you soon. Bye. Abu Dhabi Dude.